listening to music, no matter where we are, was the desire that music streaming services have to come to satisfy. There are numerous services available, some better known than the others. Tidal, Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, Google Play Music, Pandora, just to mention a few of these services. I am an Apple fan, and when selecting one of these services, it was only natural that mine fell under the service of Apple Music. And the truth is that, despite one complaint or another, I felt the service offered was enough, until now. Let me explain why. Apple Music, about 60 million songs which I can listen to on all my Apple devices, be it on the iPhone, on the iPad, on the Apple Watch, on the HomePod column, in the car via CarPlay and now even on the browser, although still with many limitations. And all with ease of not having to worry about monthly payment, which falls directly into my iTunes account, unlike some of the other services that ended up leaving iTunes to charge for the provision of the service. And everything was fine until I tried Spotify. The reason for trying this service was simple. My car came from the factory with the Spotify app on the infotainment. And it's actually much more convenient to get into the car, turn on the ignition and select the app to listen to music, than having to go through the process of turning on the Bluetooth or taking the phone out of your pocket to turn on the CarPlay function. More about this experience of listening to Spotify in the car below. Therefore, I joined the 3 month free subscription that Spotify offers. The layout of the app is different from that offered by Apple Music, but the learning curve is very fast and after 2 or 3 days I already felt perfectly comfortable dealing with the app. Honestly, I think that in this matter both services are very good. But then, what made me consider changing? First, Spotify daily recommendations. Unlike Apple Music, Spotify creates for me, daily, several playlists with songs that are part of my library and some other songs that are not. This feature is very interesting because I often do not know what music should I listen and always listening to the same playlists becomes boring. Second, the ability to listen on my computer's browser. When I'm working, the best way to listen to music is through my computer browser, and in this matter, Spotify is simply much better than the Apple Music browser, that only has a better version available. And it's better because I have access to all the features that are also available in the app that I have installed on all my devices. The same is no longer the case with the Apple Music browser where, for example, I cannot hear Beats 1 Radio. Or, for example, the uh, inability to add a song to a specific playlist. Not to mention that sometimes the system fails. I know, I know that this is a better version. But honestly, I don't understand why Apple took so long to create a version of its service in the browser. It's another one of those typical situations where Apple thinks it knows better than its customers what they want. Anyway, this delay put Apple Music in second place in this matter. 3. The ability to listen to my podcasts directly through the app. This is a recent feature that Spotify introduced and that I really like. It avoids having to move from one app to another to hear what I want. In this matter, Apple went to the opposite direction, making a point of separating the two apps. 4. For this fourth reason, it's necessary to return to the Spotify app available in my cars for infotainment. Apparently, the quality of the music in both apps is very similar. However, in practice, this does not materialize in the same way. At least, not in my car. My car has a great Armin Kardon sound system. The sound quality is fantastic without any distortion, even at very high volume. Now, one of the things I love to do in car is listen to my music or podcasts. And there is no pre-installed Apple Music app or podcast, so the only way I have to listen to the music is via Bluetooth or CarPlay. And if through CarPlay the music has better quality than through Bluetooth, the truth is that none of these ways come close to the sound quality that I get when I listen to the same music through the Spotify app pre-installed in my car. Apple is known to be the first to arrive or not to arrive at all in many areas. But the truth is that, while Spotify makes it have proliferate more and more by several car brands, Apple remains at the tail of this race, stuck with its stubbornness of thinking that always knows what its users want. 
Apparently, in this matter, it has already started to take some first steps, emerging as the music app available in the new Porsche Taycan. But while it's not assumed in the race, it is us, the consumers, who decide whether or not it's worth paying for a service that, in many aspects, offers less or worse quality when compared to the competition. And that's it! These are the reasons why I will switch from Apple Music to Spotify. Probably. And I say probably because Apple Music also offers strong arguments that have made me subscribe to this service so far. Start with the Bitrun Radio. This is a radio with universal broadcast of excellent quality where it's possible to listen to all kinds of music and with excellent DJs where even Sir Elton John has a show. And now Apple Music lets you listen to many of local radio stations as well. Spotify doesn't offer anything like that, which is a shame. Apple recently launched its new video streaming service, Apple TV+. Why is this relevant? Well, it's relevant because Apple created a package that combines Apple Music with Apple TV+, for those who have a student subscription, as is my case. Subscribing at this moment to Apple TV+, by itself, is something that I would not advise anyone, although this is a topic for another video. However, if Apple decides to offer me Apple TV Plus associated with Apple Music subscription, who am I to say no? But tell me what would you do? What music service do you use? Apple Music? Spotify? Another one? Write in the comments so I can know. And that's it! This was today's video. If you liked it, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. Until then, stay well!